it was in the first few lectures that I realized that I need the students to be with me on this journey as much as they need me to be saying all the stuff I say. And then I pictured myself as a, as a person who was standing in a room alone talking to nobody about whatever skill or, or you know, thing that I was talking about, lesson, history, whatever I was talking about. And I, and I realized that a student can always find a way to learn. But a teacher needs a student in order to be able to do anything. I mean, you don't want to learn physics, that's okay, go learn biology, go learn economics. But if you're an economics teacher, you need someone to be interested in economics. And I know that sounds like a very simple thing to say, but for me that was a profound moment where I, I saw myself as, as a partner rather than uh, uh, a person in a position of power. I realized that I am a teacher because I'm here to help you learn whatever you came here to learn. And I, it's not my job to test how much you remember what I've said because you could game the system and just have a really good memory. Write down everything I say and then just print it when you, when you give my exam. What I wanted to do was create a way for people to learn together not just with each other but also with me so i had to create a curriculum and this is something that i've continued to do over the last seven years uh through through the te- to the classes and the workshops and and even the guides that i write the idea is that i don't know more than you and at best, I know as much as you. Which I don't know if, if, if that sounds uh, familiar to you or if it, that sounds like any, if relevant at all to you. But for me, that's, that's something I craved as a student. I craved an experience where the teacher was not someone who was uh, particularly um, in a hierarchy system like superior to me. Of course, I I would treat them with respect. But for me, the idea that someone treats me as if they know more than me and they make me feel it, for me, that's like me. I have a little niece who's uh, almost four. That would be like me going up to her and, and making her feel bad about not knowing calculus or organic chemistry. Of course she doesn't know that because I haven't, no one's taught her that yet. But I bet that the day someone teaches that to her, she's going to know it as well as that teacher does. Because if you think about it from a fulfillment standpoint, teaching is about giving something that you already have. It doesn't lessen by giving. 